So this is a sacroiliac belt. This is actually two small ones that I've combined together. I have learned to never walk into a room with a garment that is too small, especially for a lady. So this one will go around people twice, okay? Uh, it's just for trial purposes, and it's just to make sure that it's something that they're gonna benefit from. They can either buy them here at the bone store, at the rehab superstore, but with, with pelvic girdle issues, even when we correct them, sometimes there's so much laxity that every time a person comes in, they're, they're um, in an awkward position. Again, I hate to say out of place, but this is the one time I would agree with the chiropractors, the bones get out of place. And especially for that person that reports a lot of uh, pain with driving, when you, when you sit, the, the pelvis just kind of spreads out. And, and put strain on the ligaments. This is a good way to hold everything together, at least until the ligaments have shortened or we've had two or three months to strengthen the muscles. And so this is never something I try first, uh, especially when somebody's real inflamed, sometimes just the pressure of the belt is too much. But um, if, if we're having a hard time resolving their issues, then we do use these. And so Luke, I'm gonna have you hold that right there. And then I'm gonna wrap this around your waist now this is gonna go a lot lower than what you would probably expect it to go, and that's okay. And again, I have two of them here, but it allows me to stay a comfortable distance here anyway. Now, somebody, you know what I did? I put that around backwards. So if you want the grippy stuff to be against them, this is just for trial, but if you were wearing this through the day, Luke, you would have this underneath your clothes it's designed to go right against your skin, but um, my experience has been that it, um, when it's right against your skin, it can actually um, chafe you. One of these was turned around backwards. So, third time's a charm. All my sticky stuff is where it should be now. And again, if I didn't know the person very well, I probably would not hug them when I'm doing this. I'm going to wrap this around you. I've made it a little bit more difficult than it needs to be, but I'm going to cinch that thing up. And then we're going to go all the way around here. And you can see that's pretty darn low, but the idea is to tie the pelvis together. I don't have it exactly straight, but the real test will be to just have the person walk around and this should be something that you get instant relief from. So if somebody says, yeah, I think it might be helping, they probably don't need one. If a person comes in and they're having symptoms, you put this on there, they should have relief right away. Not 100%, but enough where there's no question about it. And, and if not, then it's just, well, it's something that we tested. Obviously, you have too much inflammation right now. It's not going to work for you. But in a seated posture is when it really helps to so go ahead and sit down and try that out. So what most people report in that case is that it just feels like it kind of ties everything together and it should make you want to sit with a little bit more of a neutral spine. I don't know, how does it feel as it's on there? It's good. Yeah. Now, I usually will tighten it up a little bit too much at first just so that they get the idea of what's supposed to be happening with it. But keep in mind that it's kind of like tying your shoes too tight. If you left it that tight over about 15 or 20 minutes, it would be too uncomfortable, they would have to take it off. Some people sleep with them on. I recommend wear it during the day, wear it especially during seated activities until you don't need it anymore, but keep it around the house just in case you need it in the future. 